Hi pilots and co-pilots, Brian here. Today's flight, it's uh, just dawn. We're at CYYJ, Victoria International, on lovely Vancouver Island in beautiful British Columbia. Uh, the weather's looking pretty good up there and there's a jet way up there in the distance. We're going to be, uh, I'm imagining today that we're doing some work for uh, Department of Fisheries and Oceans. And we're having to pick up, uh, we're taking somebody who's picking up samples at various different locations. We're going to be doing a bit of a round trip of the island today. We're going to be flying up to Port Alberni to start with uh, via Nanaimo. We're not going to stop in Nanaimo, but we're going to swing across to Port Alberni. We're going to be heading across then to the west coast out to Tofino. Then from Tofino, we will cut back across the island and down to Victoria again. So for part one of our flight today, you can see we're going to start down here in Victoria. I'm just checking the weather here. Although I actually have turned weather off. I think I've just got nice weather for the flight. I've generated uh, some ortho scenery for the island and it looks a bit better than it did last time I tried. So I think Bing's updated some of the island. We're going to see how that looks. So yeah, we're coming up here up the east side of the island, up Vancouver Island. Then we're going to swing in across to Port Alberni and then land there. Later on, just so you know, we're going to swing then. We're going to fly from there across to Tofino here. And then from Tofino, we're going to come across the island here to Campbell River. We need to do a pick up there. And then it'll be the long final leg home back down. Uh, through Strait Georgia and uh, past the east of the island and then back down into Victoria again to finish the day. So I'm using my track hat today. I don't usually use that for my recordings I post on YouTube because I assume everybody will get nauseated, but let's try it for today. And I'd like some feedback on what people think of it as to whether I should use it again. So I'm just sitting in the cockpit. First thing I'm going to do is not that. If I can, hold on, I gotta click in the screen. Turn my yoke off. Okay. I think once I get going, it shouldn't be so shaky here. So I'm gonna turn the avionics master off and the prop sync off. Okay. Let's throw uh, the fuel in. Okay. Okay, the park brake is on. Let's get the battery on. Left alternator. Small amount of fuel. Okay, fuel's in on that one. Get ready to go on that. Let's have a look at our engine temps there. Everything looks like the engine's coming up to temperature. Oil pressure's up on both within the 30 seconds. Oil temperature's up as well. Okay, we're going to be good. Um, for some reason, my gear is set up, even though I'm dead on the ground, so I don't know why that would be. I'm going to um, actually auto do the, what am I looking for? Weights and balances. Okay. I think I worked it out that I could possibly spend about three hours flying today but with the island you if it was bad weather i might have to backtrack and other things with the variable weather but i'm set nice weather because i want to be able to see the scenery today but i'm adding a bit more a bit more fuel okay so let's turn on 
I was going to do VORs and stuff, but you know what? I'm going to turn the damn prof. I'm going to program in the GPS. We will just crack on with that. Okay, I've programmed the GPS. While you've been gone, I've tried to tune the ATIS to 118.8, which is what I thought it was for here. That doesn't seem to do anything for Victoria. So I'm just bringing up the map here. Uh, sorry, everybody. Wave my head around. I think I'm going to have to turn this camera off. It's uh, a bit nauseating for everyone, isn't it? We're here. Um, I'm going to take off maybe from 27 up to 9. Runway 27. Okay. Let's just check again. It's not as good as real 80s, but no. I'm just scrolling really close to it. I don't want to move anywhere. Come, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Okay. Let's do brakes off. Away we go. It's still a bit dark, but we've got to be there early in the morning. It's a long day for us today. You'll only see highlights, don't worry. I won't make you sit through four hours of flying. It's pretty clear out there. And this should get us out towards the runway here. don't need the full length of the runway with this little thing. I've just realised I haven't set any of my lights or anything. Ah, being a bit of an amateur today. Right, come on, out onto the runway. Get, let's get set up to take off. Okay. Right, we're going to need our landing lights on. A beacon and strobe should have been on. But now flight's on. Prop sinks off, we'll engage that once we're in the air. Okay. That was our altimeter 2992, so now we're correct. We have beautiful skies. We're just starting to roll. Let's increase the throttle steadily.
early because it would take us straight across the top of the mountains here that I think was Spring Island. We don't want that. Where we go. So we're heading out here. Just over 7,000 feet. Autopilot's on. According to that, we have five minutes until our next um, our waypoint. Uh, we'll be just over in the Nomo and we'll be turning. So I'll tune in then. I just stopped recording and I'll just start it again. We've just started our turn. Again, I'm letting the autopilot fly me today. Be a hero here. I'll start looking at the charts in a minute to figure out what we'll do for Porto Bani. Engine temps are good, oil temps and oil pressure are good. Vicinity. What are we on now? We're on about a quarter to seven in the morning. 
still early on this flight. Bit of very light cloud way up in the sky. Nothing to worry about. We're just I'm just doing an outside view here as we fly across Nanaimo. First time I've done this using Ortho. I can see so much detail down there. See the uh, highway going out, you can see Buttertubs Marsh down here. Oh, so much detail, it's amazing. So we cut away, and there it is in the distance, that's Departure Bay around there. With Newcastle Island, it's very faint in the mist there. Scary for a 
passengers. But if they're regular flyers, I'm sure they've been through worse in the area. Down we come. go so I'm going to imagine that we're allowed to park just here and I will park here and wait for them they said they're gonna be about an hour and a half and then the next stage of our flight will take us to Tofino go and we are down okay let's pull, clean the aircraft up okay flaps are up landing lights off nav off strobe off okay 
park brake on. Go left. Go right. Magneto's off. Alternator's off. Um, battery off we have. Completed flight. Thank you for flying this stage. I'm going to edit this video and post it and then I will carry on with flight number two, which is going to be a shorter flight, Port Alberni to Tofino, then a Tofino to Campbell River flight, and finally a uh, longer flight, Campbell River, back down to Victoria to finish my loop of the island, all in a day's work for an island pilot. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Please like the videos. It inspires me to keep doing them. And thanks again for watching.